Hi everyone, welcome to the Rabbit Show. We are here at AWS Three in Mind, and look who's back on the Rabbit Show. Woon, uh, first of all, super excited to have you back on the Rabbit Show, and excited to chat about various things around AWS, Commvault, and uh, other things that you all have been doing in the space. Uh, I am, I'm obviously wanting to, you know, learn a lot of different things. But let's start uh, for our audience about what do you do at Commvault, and tell us a little bit about the partnership with AWS. Okay, great. Yeah, no, first of all, yeah, thanks for having me back. For uh, sure. So, yeah, my name is Woon Jung, uh, co-founder and CTO at Clumium. Joined uh, Combo last year, October, as part of the MA. Yes. So, day to day, from a role perspective, nothing much has changed. I still lead the product and engineering team yes. uh, within Combo with anything regards to uh, Clumium. Yes. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, I'm also kind of, you know, obviously wanting to touch base on. I've been seeing you've been talking to customers, partners, and also the prospects around in the community members. Uh, you started with Backtrack for S3 and now support DynamoDB uh, and Apache Iceberg. What problem are you solving for AWS customers across these uh, workloads? Can you share a little bit about that? Got it. Yeah. So, you know, we started about eight, seven years ago, going and protecting data sources in AWS. Right. And then the different features at different level of maturity, right? S3 is the one that is the most mature, but then in the case of DynamoDB, we're kind of iterating on the thing. So DynamoDB is something that we launched about three years ago, but with the addition of the backtrack, we actually made what was you know already good, even better. Uh, so it's all based on customer conversations. Basically, customers were looking for- So true. Like different modalities to restore. It's not about just backup, but you know whether you can do granular restore, whether you can do restores in place, and that's what Backtrack does. And then uh, when it comes to Iceberg, uh, we know that the uh, Apache Iceberg data format is one of those data formats that is growing the fastest within uh, AWS S3. So we wanted to go ahead and uh, provide a solution that can actually protect uh, Apache Iceberg yeah. in a manner that it is format aware. Yes. Okay, that's something pretty cool in terms of how you kind of, you know, obviously helping the customer, but also the community members. I'm kind of also curious, uh, you know, for the teams new to Apache Iceberg uh, on AWS, what are the must-have basics uh, for resilience and recovery? What would you suggest? Yeah, so f first of all, yeah, honestly, you know, the first order of business, a lot of people today are paying attention to the query performance aspects of it, but then once you get that right, then really you have to ask the question of, is that data that I have within Apache Iceberg is business critical. Then you need to think about protecting it. Right. Obviously, Apache Iceberg provides some of the built-in functionalities like snapshots and stuff like that, but then there's a need for that second copy that you have to create. Mm. So then when you actually create those second copies, ask the questions about, you know, are you taking, you know, at what level are you taking the backup? So uh, a good analogy maybe that I can use to explain this is, when you're taking uh, the traditional, let's say the relational database backups, one way that you can do is take it at the disk level. If you take the backup at the disk level, what happens is that you're taking a backup without knowing what's inside it. Yes. So then, once you restore the database back, Very you have to do a lot of work to yep. actually bring that yep. database back in. So Apache Iceberg is no different. So if you actually take a backup at the, let's say, at the S3 bucket level, then it is equivalent of you taking the backup at the disk level that at the time of restore, yeah. you have to do a lot of the work. So that's kind of what we actually go out to solve. And then uh, what you really need to do is just see one thing is backup and you have to make sure that you can restore it. And, yep. and when you're restoring it, it's uh, the whole RTO matter because if you have to spend hours rebuilding the database, <laughs> that's part True. of the RTO. Yeah. Uh, one more question, and these are fantastic insights. Thanks for sharing it. Uh, I know you also have a session uh, and a game day at reInvent uh, that's happening. Uh, what will people learn from that uh, and will not get from a normal product demo around? Uh, can you share a little bit about that as well? Uh, so that's going to be a very uh, fun and interesting uh, game day experience. What we put together is we put, a let's say, a, an exercise. So we put together an application right. that uses S3, DynamoDB, a bunch of AWS solutions, and we went ahead and simulate the different accident or disaster that could happen. And then kind of deep dive into what you would have to do in a real scenario. Right. And it's a little deeper than just a traditional, hey, I can back up and restore full table, that's it, because, you know, 
accidents are a lot more complex. They're not exactly. that simple. Yes. And then the game day exercise will give you an idea also of what type of accidents you could expect and what to do. And it's going to be an interesting uh, ex exercise. Fun session and exercise. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, one, one last question for you. For those leaders who are wanting to implement Apache Iceberg and you know obviously work with Commvault and AWS, uh, what would be your advice? But at the same time, uh, if they want to get started, uh, what's the best place to do that? Yeah, so uh, there's different ways. Within S3, you can use the regular S3 buckets and use glue tables, which is a traditional way. Yes. Uh, but you know, AWS is putting a lot of uh, energy and effort around what's called S3 table. Uh, right. In fact, there was a bunch of announcements related to that today in the keynote. Yes. So, so I would say actually take a look at those two uh, product lines. Yes. You know, take a very close look at the S3 table, which I think you know definitely the S3 team is putting a lot of energy. So I Love think it. it's worth it. And then once you have that cleared out, then uh, look into the you know the data resiliency aspect of it and. Folks should actually definitely take a look at Clumia for that. That's awesome. Uh, Woon, uh, we'll keep the conversation going. I know you have been back to back uh, in terms of the booths are buzzing here at the Commvault. Uh, but such a pleasure again to host you on the Rabbit Show and uh, great work that you, Clumio, Commvault team does together and, uh, and great partnership with AWS as well. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Anytime. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much uh, for joining us today, everyone.